to show you how to um, edit your current website. Um, for the time being, what you'll do is go to GoDaddy. Once you're logged in, you'll go to My Products. Under My Products, you'll go down to Web Hosting, hit Manage. Once you are in this area, you'll see cPanel. Click cPanel. And bear with me because once again, it seems a bit cumbersome, all these steps. But once the site's launched, launched, um, you won't have to do all this. Once you're in this funky looking area, I want you to go ahead and get to a section that has WordPress, which is underneath Web Applications, WordPress. You'll select that. Once you're there, I want you to select My Applications. Once you're here, disregard your current one and scroll down to this one. And I want you to hit this second link. So right here in this area, um, the second one, you'll click that. That's going to prompt the back admin of the WordPress of the website. So it's just going to be like your old one, but a lot more easier now to make changes to content, etc. Um, so once you're there, now this is the back admin of the website. If I don't cover it in the training, please don't do it. So once that's done, you'll um, go to the page that you want to see. Now what I like to do is sometimes hit view site. And once you hit view site, it's going to show you the front end of the website. But now you'll notice this upper header area. You'll notice this up here. This is all your, your editing capabilities. So depending on the site, the section that you want to edit, if it is text and highlightable, which in this case is here, what you'll do is you'll hit edit page. Actually, I think I can even show you this so you'll like this one better. Let me try this real quick. You can hit edit. Edit page. And I'm going to pull up another uh, page too. And you'll be able to see this is the back admin you'll be able to see these areas to edit this text. Now for the home page, that's the only text that's on here. Everything else is pretty much imagery. So you'll be able to hit this pencil. And when you hit that pencil, it's going to open up the text that's there and you'll be able to edit it. So you'll hit there and then there's the text. Once that's done, you'll scroll down, hit save changes. This box will close and then you hit update. That will take care of the home page of just this section because the rest is not um, text, it's, it's, it's images and or feed. So that's how you change that area. Now any kind of filler page that we have on the website, let's just take the services page um, and or any page. Once you're on here and anything that's highlightable, to make these changes now it gets even easier. You hit edit page and the back admin of any of these pages I want you to always, there's one little thing you have to do, is close this box so this builder goes away and there's this nice easy one that I've built for you. So every time that there's text or an image that I've set for you, you can hover over this section, hit this pencil, and now this pencil opens up the text. And now you can make your changes, you can select words, you can hit your anchor text, you can do all the stuff that you used to do on your old one, but even easier now. And that's how you'll notice everything is set chronologically from head to toe, just like you see it on the front end of where things are. Now, please be careful if you do drag and drop. I've already built some of this stuff, but you can drag and drop and move stuff. If for any reason you do something and you don't know what you did, before you hit update, just refresh the page. So let's just say I accident accidentally moved this over here and I just jacked it up and I'm like, uh-oh, wh what did I do? Just hit refresh. So just go here, refresh your screen, and it won't go live until you hit update. So you'll notice now it went back to the way that it was. But it's very important to note when you are making edits in a particular area, for instance, this text again, you always hover over and you'll see these little green boxes with the pencil. You'll click on this. Whatever changes you make, you have to hit save changes here. 
that will close and it will not take effect until you hit update here. Once you do that, it automatically will go to the that will take effect. Now, I would suggest not doing anything more than I trained you on. And if you have questions, let me know. But I hope this was helpful. And that is how you make your changes.